Hey, what's happening, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I'm talking about React Bootstrap buttons today in this video, both internal and external in Gatsby. Internal by meaning you can go to a page within your website, and external meaning you're gonna go out to your website, like going to my website, adesignerwhocodes.com. And with that, let's get started. All right, once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and this channel is all about helping you design more and to troubleshoot less. If that's what you're looking for online, then hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, what's happening, everybody? Once again, I am Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. So I'm using the Gatsby default starter. It's one of my favorite starting to templates to use in Gatsby. And what I've already done already is I've gone inside of the getting started area of reactbootstrap.github.io, and I already installed the React Bootstrap and the Bootstrap modules. From there, what I've already done is I went down to the style sheets and added the import into my layout, which is part of the Gatsby starter default. So what I have here is import inside of my layout that of course will feed in to all of the children down inside my future pages. Once you have both the bootstrap installed and the CSS implemented into your layout or some part of your project, you're all set to begin. I'm gonna head over to my index.js, and what I first have to do is if we head over to components, what I have to do is declare this button to be used, because it's a capital letter button. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come up to the very top of my index.js file, and I'm gonna write the following. I'm gonna say import semicolon, I could put some extra space for readability, and I'm gonna say button, and this is gonna come from React Bootstrap. That's gonna pull the data needed to use this button element. And it's a capital letter, so we know it's a React component. So in here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come down to this area, a little extra space. I'm writing some text above the spaceman and below, now go build something great. As you can see, it'll be right here in the middle. I'm gonna start with an external button. That's the easiest one to implement by default. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say capital button, and I will say href, because this is an external link. I'll say equal sign, double quote, and I will say link to my website. And what I'll do is I'm gonna say https colon slash slash adesignerwhocodes.com. When I save that, cool link to my website. Awesome. The great part about buttons is by default, they've got the rounded blue look, but you can also customize the look of that button through React Bootstrap. There's the blue, secondary, success, warning, danger, info, light, dark. What I usually do is I either usually use the blue, the light, or the dark. So if I have a dark part of my website, I might use light to pull it out. What I also like doing if I don't want that strong blue, but I like the blue for usability purposes, is I like to use the on the, the online, the outline button, and usually use the primary outline. And the great part about this is I have to find the version that I want. So if I want just the dark version, I can come down, copy the variant, and bring it right into the button. And now what happens is, is it's gonna change the look of my button. That's pretty darn awesome and really easy to implement inside of Gatsby. And you can also add larger buttons. So if you wanna go even twice the size, I can take the size and say, you know what, I wanna make it large and bring it into my button. You know what I'll do also is I'm gonna bring this down just so we get a little more readability inside this button. There we go. And there we go. And link to my website. And now what I get is a very, very large button. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too big. Let's take that size large out. So the great part about the button is, is it can go anywhere outside your website. But here's the problem. Now we want to take it inside or create an internal link. But internal links are using capital L link 
and I have capital B button. So I have to combine the look of this button with the Gatsby link. So here's how we do it. So for example, I wanna to go to page two right down here. So what I would normally have to do with the link is if I put it below this button is I would once again say link to equal sign the location of the page I'm going to link towards. And I'm saying go internal link right here. As you can see, it just shows up, maybe, did I not? Oh, I didn't put a paragraph around it. Hang on a second, let me fix this. Now I have two pieces. Let me add a paragraph around my button and a paragraph around this link just so it drops it down and they're not nested next to each other. There we go. Now I have internal link and link to my website. The problem is that I can't just write button because link is there. Link takes priority in this situation. So what do we do? When in doubt, we head back from React Bootstrap to the classic vanilla Get Bootstrap. So I'm gonna create a new tab and say Get Bootstrap because the great part about React Bootstrap is it brings everything, whoa, that's <laughs> Where did Get Bootstrap, did I not type it in right? I probably spelled it wrong, everyone. There we go, now we got the right site. Um, that's always interesting. And let God, it was not a site I didn't shouldn't have shown in this video. Cool, so what I was saying was that all the components of classic Get Bootstrap can be found inside the installation of React Bootstrap. So when we can't use the word button, we can come back and look for the classic version of the button. So if I had a documentation, I'm gonna head over to components and there's my button. And notice that they look, well, exactly similar. However, you now have class names to bring in. So I'm gonna copy this class for the primary and inside my link, instead of saying class, I'm gonna change it to class name. And because all those pieces came right in from get bootstrap, check it out. Now I have an internal link, hi, from my second page that looks just like my external one. And if I wanna mimic the design of it, I can then focus on, okay, I can't say outline dark variant, but what I can do is, is head back, scroll down and look for this outline dark. So I'm gonna copy the class information and change in here from button and button primary to button and button outline primary. Up, you know, I think I said black too. So you know what, let's bring in the black one in. So we'll bring the button outline dark into this design, copy it, and now what I get are two identical looking buttons, one built using the React Bootstrap button for external links and one button using classic bootstrap or vanilla as they call it, using the capital link inside of Gatsby. If you want more videos helping you design more and troubleshoot less, check out the videos I have here and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.